hello everyone welcome to my channel welcome to this uh little stitch and chat um it's not gonna be a long video uh i just wanna wanted to check in on you um and just talk a little bit um i hope everyone is doing fine and that you're staying safe out there um yeah uh and usually when i usually well for uh how do you say it, the times the last few stitch along videos i've been doing uh has been with the once upon a fairy tale uh but at the moment i'm totally completely obsessed with my mirabilia and that's the one i'm stitching on now and it's miss christmas eve and why i'm so hooked on it at the moment is because um It's not close to finish, but the lower dress, you know, the bottom part of her dress is getting close to uh, a finish. And when I looked at the pattern, I realized that once the bottom part of the dress is done, then I don't have all that much left to stitch. Uh, then it's just, you know, the upper part of her body. And that's... The, that's going to be the fun part so that I, I think I'm going to feel like I just want to continue and maybe I'll be having a finish before the end of the year so and it's very easy stitching it's not any confetti it's no you know changing a million colors like in, in the heaven and earth uh, so that is very relaxing so that's why I'm all for this now I hope the lighting and everything is all right and the sound um, and I have the fan on because it's very hot outside um, maybe not right now but it's gonna get hot um, so I'm like I'm isolating myself in the house, not the house, I live in an apartment, you know, having all the fans on, all the blinds are down, everything to shut out the sun, because it gets very, very hot here. Yes, it can be hot in Sweden, can you imagine? Uh, I think these couple of days here, it's around like... Um, it's easy 30 degrees in the sun easily and that's way too hot for me I'm more of a spring autumn person when it comes to heat so I'm just checking my pattern um, I know that YouTubing and talking and uh, stitching at the same time uh, is a challenge it's uh, I don't I'm not that focused like when I sit alone with my audio book in my ears or a YouTube no it's actually better with the audio book because then I'm just listening to the book and stitching then I'm very focused so yeah uh, I'm stitching with the What's it called? Carrion what Caron Water Lilies hand dyed thread at the moment. Um let me take it out of the bag. These are very I love these. Um let's see if I can have some focus on it. No. Well it's this color anyway. I think it's a yeah, it shows pretty well actually. Uh, I don't think it's variegated, not this one anyway. 
um, but it's the first time. No, now I'm lying. I'm stitching with variegated thread on my ink circle squirrel design as well, but there I'm just using one thread. So it's going to get the right variegation. Uh, but using two threads and stitching with variegated thread, you can do that in many different ways and get many different results. And uh, I like to start with the loop uh, when I'm stitching with two threads. And that means I need to um, fold the thread um, when I'm stitching with, with two threads. And I've learned that uh, that uh, that doesn't give you that much variation. I think I think that's how they said. Um, and I want that effect because I mean I just like it. Uh, so oh, there's another row I need to mark off. So yeah, um, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to continue doing that on this Mirabilia, but in the future, when stitching with two threads on, with a variegated thread, I'm going to do that differently. I'm going to take two threads and put them beside each other, and not using one thread and fold it in two and see if it, I get a different um, effect out of it. I don't know if you can see, no, you can't see that I've beaded. I, I've actually beaded some part of the dress, uh, you know, just to, yeah, I think I find that more fun to stitch some, then beat some, stitch some, then beat some. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way. I heard that Stitcherista um, did did it like that, so I wanted to try and see if I could, you know, get a good result from that as well. Um, but I guess I mean I love the beading; it's very fun. It gives, you know, that extra detail to the cross stitching. So it could be kind of nice, I think, to to wait to beat until, you know, you've finished stitching the whole thing. Um, and then just see how the whole design comes to life. Yeah, that could be cool, actually. Let's see, so I'm doing this correct. Yeah. So uh, once I've done with the, yeah, I think the, the part I'm doing now, I'm, it's like, mm, what do you call that? What do you, you put in the Christmas tree? Oh, well, uh, I think it's some laces or something that she's holding. Uh, once I'm done with this, I'm going to take out the beading and start beading this part. And I, I'm i planning on film filming that as well to show you how I'm doing. And I am, as I've, I think I've said it before, I'm no expert whatsoever. Um... And I've noticed that some of the beads has loosened up, so I don't know if it's the tension of the fabric that has been different, or I haven't secured the thread I'm using. I'm using invisible thread, so I don't know if it's that's the reason why. Because I'm very new at this, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong or right. So if I film it, maybe some expert is watching my video and can tell me, you know, you're doing that wrong or if you do it differently like this or take go take a look at that video and you know uh, you'll know how to do it 
so yeah i could go out on youtube and watch some more um beating videos beating it sounds like i'm gonna watch somebody beat someone no how you beat uh and i have done that earlier before i started uh my first it was uh, a mill hill kit i i started out with just to try you know how it is to beat and cross stitch which was very very fun um so i watched some youtube videos that was very nice so i guess i could go rewatch them yes that's a good idea um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i'm doing and <laughs> And then I can have a little chat. Oh yeah, I noticed oh, from the YouTube videos out there that some people are having Zoom meetings while they're crafting. You know, to get that social connection. And I was thinking about that before, that that would be very nice to like have a Zoom meeting. While you're like stitching or knitting or whatever and just chat and get to know each other that would be nice oh yeah oh heaven and earth my god they had a sale until it's still on it's on today until midnight the 24th of june until midnight they have 35 percent off and i have like i think i have around 50 50 or 60 i think it's 50 charts that i have on my wish list that i'm like i would really like to have some more than others um, and I told myself that when they have a sale the next time you're gonna go and get a chart but it's like the day before payday and you know I've been to the dentist Mina, my daughter, she turned 13 and had a birthday. She needed something to show appreciation because she's been working damn hard in school and she had nice grades for the first, you know, it's the first year she got grades. And I want to show her that and then, you know, uh, for the school and then you have to get some clothes and I've been ordering some stuff and yeah it's been a lot so I cannot afford a chart this time even if it's just like like what seven to thirteen dollars not that much but yeah I'm gonna have to wait so the battery on my audio recorder is going down now you see my legs on camera my god i need to cut that out i'm just gonna fasten secure the thread so I hope the sound stays with us for like 10-15 minutes more. Like so. Yeah, you don't have to see my, my legs. Alright. I haven't seen a question of the week on Heaven and Earth for quite a while. I think it's a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks ago had a question about 
which oh if you have ever restarted a chart before and if you have why and as you saw on my heaven and earth stash video um i was very clear that i'm not gonna ever stitch a heaven and earth on um 28 count or 32 count i'm gonna stick with 25 count so for all the ones i've started on uh 22 count no uh on the higher counts i'm gonna restart because most of them i've just stitched like a page so all of them are going to be restarted and i'm not going to restart everything i've started stitching because there's some of the shards or designs that i don't feel like i need to stitch anymore so i think i took I chose 19 or 20 heaven and earth designs that I want to keep on stitching or start. 20. <laughs> yeah. Let's just leave it at that. So, and then we have all the other, you know, Neurobilius and the samplers and Quakers and whatever I've you know uh found out is out there which are just amazingly beautiful and then we have the shards from the stash i had before i found out about heaven and earth oh my god yeah there's quite a few shards over there as well which i i want to stitch yeah so yeah but um how about you guys? Have you ever uh, restarted a chart and especially, you know, heaven and earth designs? I'm very curious about that because yeah, there's a lot of work in them. How far did you get before you restarted and why? I think often it's because of fabric. I think it's just a guess. I don't know. I'll be doing a floss tube soon. I'm off work, by the way, for some weeks. So I hope I get to do a lot of stitching because even though our country says it's okay to travel around inside the country, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stay put and keep our distance. So I'm home and we're gonna like kinda clean out the place and throw stuff and yeah do things we don't want to do when we work and yeah I hope I get to stitch a lot a lot um where where was I getting at that yeah so I'm, I'm gonna do a plus tube and uh I have a little bit of haul uh, everything is taking more time now of course I've ordered some stuff from Canada it's gonna take a while to get here it's okay I made some order from Russia usually it goes fast but they get stuck in customs I've ordered something from um, why did it turn out like that because it's gonna be like that yeah uh, I never ordered from Italy before I ordered from Spain during this whole situation and that worked fine. It did take a little bit of time, but it arrived. So it's the easiest way is to order within Europe. For us who live in Europe, of course. So I'm trying to find cross-stitch places and whatnot um, to order from. Yeah, and I ordered some fabric from Crafty Kitten to one of my Mirabilias. I won a voucher 
from the 10 year anniversary at Crafty Kitten. So that was kind of nice. And I heard the Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia was a challenge to stitch because I guess there's a lot of beading. So I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta start that one. So that one or maybe Veronica. I want to start start after Miss Christmas Eve. And what I'm using here is my laying tool. I've ordered through an Etsy store. Not worth the money I had to pay. And it was expensive because I think this is handmade. And this was an okay price for this one. But for shipping and tax and all that, it wasn't worth it. But since I bought it, I paid that much. I'm like forcing myself to use it. So it's a little bit slower stitching uh, when I'm just using my right hand to go up and down. So I think I might change that also on my next Mirabilia. I think I will try to railroad the threads. And if you don't know what railroading is, is when you, when you're gonna uh, stick the needle down, you want the needle between the two threads. And then they're gonna lay smooth and nice, but it's a technique I'm not good at that either, either, so I don't know how people get those beautiful even stitches throughout the whole design. They are doing a great job, for sure. They are not in a hurry, like some of us, maybe. I'm just speaking for myself, I'm just speaking for myself. So what is next before the audio stops recording um i want to let you know that i'm getting really close to 500 subscribers and i've said for a while that i want to have a little giveaway then to show my appreciation so i've been you know trying to learn all the stuff you need to know about how to do a giveaway so if you're watching this video now and want to be a part of that future giveaway and other future giveaways because i love giveaways it's fun to give away stuff and surprise people then you need to go and fill out the google form and you can find a link to the form in the dis in the, the description box below so go do that because that will be um i don't know how you say it in english you have to have to fill out that form to be able to join any of the future giveaways so don't wait go do that and keep an eye out for uh, a video where I'm kind of, I don't know if it's, I don't know what I'm going to name it, but anyway, um, and I'm just marking off with my, I have a paper pattern for this actually. Um, I was saying something, um, yeah, I don't have that many 
viewers uh, and I don't get that many comments which is fine uh, I'm just saying that I think you will have a really good chance of winning future giveaways since I'm such a small channel so it's not gonna feel you know impossible so go fill out the form and once I hit 500 I need to be a little over because people subscribe and unsubscribe so then we'll see what I'll figure out what surprise I can uh, come up with so I'm getting close to half an hour so I just wanted to check in and update you um, I hope every, everyone is doing fine I hope everyone's loved ones are doing fine Listen to your government, keep your distance, wash your hands. It's not over until it's over. Remember that. So be careful. And I want to uh, thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments or questions you know where to put them <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to do that because then you will see me again soon I hope and hopefully soon uh, for some uh, fun um, yeah I'm just rambling um, yeah Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.